Hello, with all the regal splendor, we warmly welcome you to the Royal Family News Channel. Now, let's get to the video. At the top despite Meghan and Harry's efforts to undermine the Princess of Wales, Catherine remains indifferent to the detractors. Her focus is on fulfilling her duties as the Princess of Wales and being a devoted wife and mother to her spouse and children. For most observers, it's challenging to find any flaws in Catherine, the Princess of Wales. She possesses beauty, talent, intelligence, and is a genuinely kind and supportive individual to both William and the monarch. Witnessing Catherine evolve and thrive in her role as a working royal has been truly captivating. Nevertheless, Meghan and Harry's supporters are making their voices heard. Transcripts courtesy of Transcription Outsourcing, LLC Recently, I came across some comments made by Meghan and Harry's supporters about Catherine on Reddit, and it is truly distasteful. Personally, I don't actively search on Twitter or other social media platforms for what these supporters are saying. I prefer not to amplify their voices further. However, someone shared it on the Meghan Markle subreddit, and I felt it was worth sharing with you. To begin, there's a supporter expressing, what on earth is that sweater? Is it having an allergic reaction being on her racist, pasty, unaccomplished body? I suppose Meghan, in warm weather, didn't provide her with anything suitable to emulate the single white female look for this event. It's painful to look at. I'm almost as uneasy observing her as the distressed child in this photo, whose hand she's gripping tightly. What a chaotic situation. When I first read this, I was thoroughly perplexed about whom they were discussing. Why are they portraying Catherine in this manner? This doesn't align with who Catherine truly is. I mean, unaccomplished, really? If you want to talk about unaccomplished, just look at Meghan Markle. And then there's the reference to Catherine's single white female act with Meghan Markle, suggesting that Catherine imitates Meghan. What are they talking about? Last I checked, it was Meghan emulating Catherine. They also claim that Catherine is a neglectful mother, too formal with her children. I don't understand what they're talking about. Clearly, they're not observing the same things we are. Anyway, this provides us with a glimpse into the troubled minds of Meghan and Harry's fans. They are as delusional as Meghan and Harry themselves. Despite Meghan, Harry, and the sugars attempting to provoke her, Catherine remains calm and composed. Regarding the notion of Catherine sending covert messages to Meghan and Harry through her clothing choices or attempting to copy Meghan, let's consider the perspective of an expert who spoke with GB News. Jennifer von der Dorf is a sustainable fashion consultant, and she stated the following, quote, The royals strategically choose their looks. It is inherent in their role to avoid causing offense to the monarch, the institution, the nation, or the hosting-slash-visited organization. Depending on the event or engagement, they ensure their attire aligns with the setting, remaining either neutral or inoffensive. Additionally, she has discussed how Catherine, the Princess of Wales, steers clear of any hidden agendas with her clothing choices. She emphasized that the notion of Catherine having a malicious, concealed agenda seems unlikely. I would go a step further and assert that it is implausible. Naturally, Catherine doesn't select her clothing based on what might bother Meghan and Harry. She is indifferent to them and has moved forward with her life. Her focus is not on them. Meghan fixates on Catherine due to intense jealousy, but Catherine doesn't harbor similar feelings towards Meghan. In Catherine's eyes, Meghan is insignificant. The expert continued by stating that wearing colors in support of a charity, country, or celebration aligns with the general royal brand. Kate will persist in wearing thoughtfully coordinated outfits, as it is an integral aspect of her duty, especially now as a princess. This aligns with Catherine's character and the responsibilities she carries out as the Princess of Wales. Catherine understands her role well and recognizes that she is not the top authority, hence she willingly listens to and seeks advice from others. She strives to avoid causing distress, which is integral to her role. Therefore, for Meghan, through Omid Scobie in Endgame, to criticize Catherine for being too adaptable, as he described it, is not just insincere but also absurd. It's not a critique. 
it's actually commendable that Catherine doesn't presume to know better than everyone else, unlike Meghan Markle. The notion that Catherine is using her clothing choices to attack Harry and Meghan is preposterous. Von Waldorf also asserts, from my perspective, there isn't a direct assault on Meghan and Harry but rather adherence to the established rules. And Catherine excels at that. Meghan has emphasized the importance of not overshadowing senior royals with color and style choices and the necessity of perfect role play. Therefore, Kate will ensure she adheres to the rules and avoids putting herself in a vulnerable position, end quote. Well, once again, how is that a negative thing? What struck me as bizarre about Endgame was that evidently, they lacked legitimate grounds to criticize Catherine, so they opted to assail her character for excelling at her job. Only Meghan Markle would believe that strategy would be well received. I mean, Meghan, it's evident to everyone that you were the issue. You were the one unwilling to abide by the rules, consistently. Yet, that doesn't diminish Catherine's independence or make her less resilient than Meghan Markle. It simply underscores her intelligence. In recent news, echoing a familiar theme, there's an article currently featured in People magazine. Now, People magazine, being a U.S. publication, typically leans towards supporting Sussex. Normally, they gladly publish favorable pieces, commending Meghan and Harry without much merit. However, it appears that even People magazine is altering its perspective. They've released an article with the headline, Kate Middleton has moved on from drama with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, says friend. Allegedly, a friend of Catherine's spoke to People magazine, stating that she and William have moved forward and are highly focused on what lies ahead. They are not dwelling on the past. Naturally, they wouldn't look back at a couple of individuals who departed in such a dramatic manner. When Harry and Meghan left in that manner, it underscored that the royals do not depend on them, rather, they need the royals to thrive. Without the royals, they are facing significant challenges in America. Catherine and William, being mature adults, won't allow a couple of detractors to divert them. Catherine is well aware of the power and influence she holds. Despite not being the queen yet, she has become the most popular female member of the royal family since the passing of the late queen. She comprehends the significance of her role. As per a source closely connected to the royal household, shared with people, she approaches matters with seriousness, and we should be thankful for that. I can't help but think that some parts of this People article are a response to Scooby Doo Doo's claims in Endgame, given that he and Meghan were the ones who criticized Catherine for taking things too seriously. Again, how is that a drawback? Simon Lewis, former Buckingham Palace Communications chief and co host of the BBC podcast When It Hits the Fans, remarked She's very much seen as a player at the center of Team Windsor. She's an amazing support for the family and they appreciate her so much. Regarding the sugars claiming that Catherine is unaccomplished, they are mistaken. For instance, her Shaping Us initiative, a campaign emphasizing the significance of the first five years of a child's life, has been remarkably successful. Recall that in Endgame, Scooby-Doo-Doo attempted to portray Catherine's concern for children as a negative thing, insinuating that she only cares about kids because she currently has young children. The suggestion for her to branch out is unwarranted. These causes are exceptionally important, arguably the most critical out there. Thanks to her empathy, understanding, and ability to relate to others, Catherine is an exemplary advocate for children. It was also highly insincere and inaccurate for Scooby Doo Doo to depict Catherine as a weak willed woman who simply follows her husband's directives. Indeed, according to royal author Valentine Lowe, she projects this public image of being pleasant, smiley, and, dare I say, innocuous. However, she is, in reality, strong-minded, strong-willed, and ready to advocate for what she believes is right. Well, okay, sure, she's not like Megan. She doesn't outwardly display abrasiveness. But last time I checked, again, that is a positive attribute. It's commendable that Catherine doesn't publicly ridicule her husband like Meghan does. It's commendable that she doesn't disrupt others, that she discerns when it's appropriate to voice her opinions. 
These are qualities that will undoubtedly contribute to Catherine being an exceptional queen someday. And these are qualities that Meghan lacks. It's indeed a fortunate circumstance that Meghan will never ascend to the throne. She would be an absolute nightmare. Catherine also provides exceptional support to King and Queen Camilla, and prior to them, Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip. Catherine values the monarchy, believes in its principles, and is determined to take any necessary steps to ensure its continuity. Let's recall that following Meghan and Harry's notorious Oprah Winfrey interview, it was Catherine, then the Duchess of Cambridge, who insisted on including the infamous line recollections may vary in the statement released by the palace. Catherine is genuinely invested in the preservation of the monarchy. That's a sentiment that can't be attributed to Meghan Markle. According to royal author Valentine Lowe, Catherine deemed it crucial that this narrative did not go unchallenged. She exhibited genuine strength and determination to ensure there might be an alternate truth. Kate is a strategic thinker, cognizant of her future role as queen and holding the long-term interests of the monarchy and the royal family close to her heart. End quote. And she truly does. This is why the royal family holds her in such high regard and appreciates her so deeply. It's also the reason millions of people worldwide love her. Even without personal acquaintance, Catherine's authenticity and charm shine through. This is precisely why the attacks from Meghan and Harry's supporters are utterly baseless. One doesn't need personal familiarity with a public figure to gauge their character. Over time, their actions reveal their true selves. This is how we can discern Meghan and Harry as a couple of deceitful hypocrites and recognize Catherine as a genuinely warm, authentic individual who cares deeply about her country and her family. Now, let's shift the focus a bit and delve into some of the opinions shared in the comments section of the video, what went wrong in Hollywood for Sussex. For years since Megxit, Harry and Meghan left hopeless. That's it for the video. Please share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like and share with those interested. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to stay updated with our latest content. Thanks for joining us, have a great day, and stay tuned for upcoming videos.